Hi friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to yet another video in the UGC NET Paper 1 series. So I'm currently running a free video series on UGC NET Paper 1 new syllabus for all the students who want uh, to get complete guidance on UGC NET Paper 1. I am talking about each and every topic in detail covering all the subtopics that are listed in the new syllabus. So far I have created three videos uh, in the series where I've discussed the important subtopics that have been listed by UGC NET in the unit teaching aptitude. In this particular video, I'm going to take that series forward and discuss another important topic from the syllabus that is methods of teaching. Now, we all are aware of the fact that there can be different methods of teaching students. If you look at the division, then a division can be between the offline and online methods of teaching and another division can be teacher centric and learner centric methods. So we are going to first look at the teacher centric methods and see how they are different from the learner centric method. So teacher centric methods are basically the methods of teaching in which there is one way flow of information. The teacher is teaching, the students are listening. A very simple example would be the lecture method where the teacher comes in the class, delivers a lecture on a topic and goes. So the teacher gives the information to the students and the students merely sits and listens. On the other hand, there are learner centric methods in which there is a two way flow of information. The teacher teaches, the students responds, the students participates and interacts with the teacher. A very simple example of this particular technique would be when a teacher uses audio visual aids. For example, I have this habit of using uh, some uh, graphics on the screen so that you guys can get yourself involved in what I am teaching. I ask you to comment below whenever you have a problem. So I'm trying to have that two way flow of information and make it a more learner centric method of teaching. Another uh, way of doing uh, a learner centric method would be when a teacher gives a project work or asks students to participate in a role play. So whenever these kind of activities happens, the students interact with the teacher, interact with other peers and then learns in the process. So the major difference between the teacher centric and the learner centric method is that teacher centric method is more traditional. Earlier teachers used to do it. Now as the e-learning pattern is blooming as teaching is getting involved with technology, teachers are moving more towards the learner centric method. In today's scenario of technology, if you start grouping teaching methods based on how they are employed, then you will find that the teaching methods are either going to be online or offline. So another kind of division that we see is online teaching versus offline teaching. So now that a lot of new edtech companies are starting up in India who are teaching through their websites, through their apps. So this is how we are trying to take teaching to another level by moving beyond the classroom teaching. So in case of an offline teaching, a teacher teaches to students in the classroom setup. Now the demerit of this kind of teaching is that it lacks flexibility. It cannot happen anytime, anywhere. The students has to be present in the classroom so that the teacher can deliver the lecture. Also, at the same time, if you look at offline teaching methods, you will find that limited number of students can be taught through this method. On the other hand, online teaching is the new future in which we as teachers upload content on our websites, on YouTube channel, the students listen or watch these concepts, these videos and learn. So we have online mock test, online PDS and we are teaching online through a larger number of group. Also, it is more flexible. Uh, teachers can teach anytime, anywhere, whereas students can also study anytime, anywhere. The only important key thing that you require in online teaching is internet. That's it. If you have a good internet connection, you can teach to millions of students sitting from your home. So this is another kind of teaching methodology which is getting popular these days and we are also uh, one of the pioneers of edtech companies in India. We are providing online courses for UGC net preparation on our website. We are providing mock tests, PDFs, lectures along with that all the previous year papers are also there. So through all of this we are trying to take learning online in a very systematic manner. 
Now let's look at the next important topic from the uh, teaching aptitude syllabus which is e-learning facilities. There are a lot of initiatives taken in order to promote e-learning. One of the most important initiative is MOOC. MOOC stands for Massive Open Online Courses. These are courses which are designed by great universities of the world like Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge and these professors are putting up the courses on websites like Audacity, edX, Coursera. Any student across the globe can enroll in the course, can access the videos, handouts and tests and can get the certificate of these esteemed universities. Recently, I did a course from Harvard University by using MOOC and that was a course in the history of world classics. So I'm too much into literature. So I did a course in which I was acquainted by all the major world classics by the professors of Harvard. So you can also enroll in any of these courses and uh, you know get more knowledge from the great professors of the world. Another initiative that was taken by the government of India is known as Swayam. Now a small task for you if you know the full form of Swayam then put that in the comment section below and let's see how many of you can get me the right answer. So Swayam is an initiative taken by the government of India where all these great Indian institutes like IITs and IIMs are putting up their courses free of cost on the website so that any student across India can enroll in the courses and can uh, get benefited from the professors and course content of these esteemed universities. Next great initiative in the field of e-learning was taken by UGC long back in 1993 when they established CEC. CEC stands for Consortium for Educational Communication. Uh, it is basically a platform where great lecturers put up lectures uh, talking about major topics that are a part of higher education and these videos are available free of cost for everybody on YouTube. You just need to type CEC and you will find a channel on YouTube where great professors are talking about uh, lectures on history, political science, English literature, geography, you name it and you get it. So it is an initiative taken by the government so that any person who is living in India can access these lectures. So a person who is living in a very small village somewhere in Jharkhand or Urissa can also access these great lectures from great professors and can enhance his knowledge. Another initiative by Government of India is known as e Shala. It has been taken by MHRD and NCRT. So both of them have uh, together started e Shala. It is a platform where you will find free resources, be it textbooks or video lectures or test series. Everything is there so that students, teachers, parents, everybody can access these resources from any part of the country. There have been a lot of questions that have been asked from e-learning facilities, especially last year there was a question that please tell us the full form of Swayam. So that is the reason why I asked you to research and put that in the comment section below so that if that question comes up again, you don't miss out that extra mark. So with that note, I take your leave for all the free material and free guidance for UGC Net Paper 1. You can contact on the number display above or you can visit our website www.arpatakarva.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow us on all the social media platforms to get latest and authentic UGC Net exam updates. So with that note, I take your leave. That's it for this video lecture. We'll meet very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.